Hi, everybody. It's Mr. John. Today, I have a story for you about a girl named Lou and the things she couldn't do. And so it's called The Thing Lou Couldn't Do, written and illustrated by Ashley Spires. This is Lou. Lou and her friends are brave adventurers. They run faster than airplanes. They build mighty fortresses. They rescue wild animals. Lou is pretty sure she is going to be a deep sea diver when she grows up, or a race car driver, or maybe a pirate. Her friend says, let's play pirates. Yeah, we just need a ship. Up there, the tree can be our ship. Hmm, says Lou. This is new. Lou has never climbed a tree before. It will be an adventure, says her friend. Lou loves adventures, but this adventure is up. She likes her adventures to be down. Lou suggests a not up a tree game. But her friends have made up their minds. Come on, Lou. Last one up has to walk the plank. She'll be there in a minute. She just needs to change her shoes first. In Captain Lou's Skullbuckle's opinion, the couch makes a fantastic pirate ship. But mom disagrees. Her mom says, it's a beautiful day. Go outside and play with your friends. Fine, but her first mate is coming too. See who her first mate is. <laughs> Ahoy, land ho, our mateys. They're still up there. Come up, ye land lubber. Lou tells them that her arm is sore. Anyway, the cat needs a walk. Also, she read once that you shouldn't climb so soon after eating. There are so many reasons not to try. I stepped on a slug this morning. His funeral is in five minutes. I found out I'm part fish and need water to survive. So if you'll excuse me, I'll be in the bathtub for the rest of my life. That asteroid is headed right for us, run. My tummy hurts, I need to sit down. I can't climb the tree. Her friend says, we'll show you how. She wishes her friends would just leave her alone. She's fine down here. Besides, she doesn't even want to climb. What's so great about climbing trees anyway? I can see all the way to the North Pole from here. The treasure is that way. Arr! Oh, that does look pretty great. If only Lou could climb trees. The cat climbs up and Lou thinks, show off. Meow. Maybe she can get up there without climbing. There must be lots of other ways to get up a tree. A trampoline? A pole vault? A helicopter? Sadly, helicopters are hard to come by. We're under attack, all hands on deck. It's a call for help. Shiver me timbers, those scallywags need a captain. It's time for Captain Lou's scarbuckle to climb aboard. This pirate captain has faced some pretty scary things. Sea monsters, hurricanes, even a super bad brain freeze. And now Captain Lou's skull buckle is going to do the scariest thing of all. She's going to climb this tree. She must be nearly there. Oh, thud. She knew it. She can't climb. 
Her friend says, are you okay? Her cat asks, no. Not yet anyway, she can't climb quite yet. Last one of the castle has to swim the moat. She'll be back. Maybe even tomorrow. After all, Lou loves an adventure. Here's a little bit about the author. It says, best-selling author and illustrator Ashley Spires lives in Ladner, British Columbia, with her three cats and one dog, singing in public, eating food that has tentacles, and going blonde are just a few of the things she's afraid to try. Her favorite excuse is that she is too busy making books like The Most Magnificent Thing, Small Saul, and the Binky Adventure series. <laughs> That's our story for today. I know there are things I, I feel like I can't do, and maybe there are things you feel like you can't do either, but that's okay. Maybe tomorrow. Bye for now. Have fun.